If you're interested in finding out how melatonin can help improve hair growth, what a melatonin deficiency is, and how you can address a melatonin deficiency to help regrow healthy hair, stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here, and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. If you're new here, we create science-backed YouTube videos, just like this one, on how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. The question of the day today is, have you ever used a melatonin supplement? And what were your results with that? So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is first, I'm gonna break down the two major ways that melatonin is believed to help with hair growth. Then I'm gonna discuss the symptoms of a melatonin deficiency and the side effects of melatonin supplementation. And then finally, I'm going to share three natural ways that you can increase your body's melatonin levels. So guys, first things first, what is melatonin? Melatonin is a hormone produced within animals that regulates sleep and wakefulness. The hormone is produced by the pineal gland. While our bodies do naturally produce this hormone, there are over-the-counter supplements available for individuals with insomnia. A low dose of the supplement, when taken orally, can promote healthy sleep patterns. Interestingly, melatonin has also been shown to positively benefit high, uh, sorry, hair growth in individuals with hair loss. So now let's have a look at how melatonin promotes hair growth. Just before we get into this, while the exact mechanism for melatonin's effect on hair growth aren't known, we do know a few things about the hormone based on recent scientific findings. So first things first, melatonin induces the anagen phase. There are three main phases within the hair growth cycle. They are the anagen phase, the catagen phase, and the telogen phase, or the active transition and rest phase. In individuals with androgenetic alopecia, sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone can lead to the miniaturization of the hair follicle. This occurs due to inflammation and the hair strand is no longer able to protrude from the follicle. This shortens the anagen phase and leads to hair follicle miniaturization associated with the condition. There are many treatments, both internal and topical, that have been shown to effectively induce anagen phase hair growth in patients with androgenetic alopecia. In 2004, melatonin was uh, added to the list of topical hair loss treatments thanks to a research study from Germany. So let's have a look at that research study. 40 women with androgenetic alopecia or diffuse alopecia were included in the study. The women were split into two groups. So we've got group one, which received a daily application of 0.1% melatonin and group two, which received a daily application of a placebo. Now this study went on for six months. Throughout the study, blood samples were collected and trichograms were performed to assess progress. The most promising results were, were seen in occipital hair growth for females with androgenetic alopecia and in frontline hair growth for females with diffuse alopecia. The percentage of hairs in anagen phase after six months of treatment was significantly increased from before treatment and it was also improved over patients who received placebo. While the mechanism is not clear, research believe that this study proves that there is a component with melatonin that induces anagen phase, hair, anagen phase in hair follicles. Also, melatonin is a potent antioxidant. Antioxidants are essential to the health of the body as they help to combat free radicals. Free radicals are rogue molecules. These molecules are incomplete and therefore steal electrons from other molecules. The molecules they steal from are those that support surrounding structures, such as the skin, hair, and organs. When the electrons are stolen, the surrounding structures begin to break down. This occurs as a natural part of the aging process which is why hair thinning and wrinkles are prevalent as you age. While the aging process can't be stopped, antioxidants can help slow the process, including balding. Melatonin is a known antioxidant and one that can effectively combat free radicals and aging in the body. So they're kind of like the two reasons why melatonin could be effective. So we've got the fact that it's a potent antioxidant and one study suggests that it may induce the anagen phase of hair growth. So now we're going to have a look at the signs of melatonin deficiency. With more and more individuals interacting with their electronics and spending the majority of their day indoors, melatonin deficiency has become a common problem. 
This can result in some less than pleasant symptoms. The main signs of melatonin deficiency include insomnia, restlessness and lack of dreaming. These signs, however, can lead to more serious health conditions if not treated. For example, untreated insomnia can lead to anxiety, depression, high blood pressure, high cholesterol and so on. If you suspect you suffer from melatonin deficiency or dysfunction, you should consult with your physician. There may be an underlying cause of your deficiency that your doctor most effectively can help you address. So what are some of the side effects of using melatonin supplementation? While supplementing with melatonin can be beneficial, it of course has a few side effects that go along with it. The use of melatonin supplements should be avoided or closely supervised by a physician. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, depression or a seizure disorder, uh, similarly those with a bleeding disorder or those who received a transplant should avoid supplementation. If you're pregnant or nursing, uh, consult with your physician prior to supplementing. So how can you start increasing melatonin levels? The first thing you can do is take a melatonin supplement. Melatonin supplements are commonly taken by individuals with insomnia to induce sleep. However, even if you don't think you have sleep issues, melatonin can still be a beneficial supplement. However, we do recommend that you start off with a low dose. As melatonin supplements are considered a nutritional supplement and not a medication, the dosages contained within these supplements can be quite high. This can mess with your body's natural circadian rhythm and cause issues down the road. If you go the supplement route, we recommend just one milligram of melatonin each night. This can be difficult to do with capsules, but tablets, powders and even liquid forms can also be purchased. The next thing you can do is avoid artificial lighting. Now, if you work in an office environment, this can be difficult. However, avoiding artificial lighting can increase melatonin production. The best time to do this is a few hours before bed. Simply avoid electronics such as the television, the computer, tablet and cell phone and instead focus on non-electronics activities. You can still use a table lamp or other soft lights to do these activities such as read, write or do a puzzle. If you can, I also recommend increasing your natural light intake during the day. This means leaving your blinds open and only using other forms of lighting when necessary. Additionally, you can use your lunch break to take a walk outside. And the next thing you can do is consume melatonin rich foods. While melatonin is largely produced within the body, you can also consume it. Melatonin occurs naturally in a number of foods, including tart cherries, bananas, pineapples, goji berries, tomatoes, and oats. While you shouldn't eat immediately before bed, you can consume these foods throughout the day to naturally increase your body's melatonin output. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on melatonin and how it can improve hair growth. Again, don't forget if you are new here, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.